see, but they were in postseason play. And now Amanda Butler trying to take this group beyond what they did a year ago. Get them back to the NCAA tourney. Winthrop Eagles picked seventh in the Big South, eight and 22 a year ago. They've got the ball first. Program guided by a college basketball legend as a player. Later, a WNBA player will let you know more about Samika randall Lay, their head coach, in a moment. Rice with the first shot of the game, first shot of the season. There's Robinson on the rebound. Here come the Tigers. New to the active roster this year, player who just had the ball, Danielle Rausch. Interesting background for her. Robinson against a Winthrop team that played a lot of zone last year. Played about 70% zone last year. They're playing man-to-man -man right now. Got an illegal screen on Michaela Elmore. Day Harris, one of the Tiger newcomers. The pit transfer driving down the lane, but it'll go the other way. Yeah, she scored enough points uh, against Clemson with Pitt there uh, last year that Coach uh, Butler picked her up quickly in the transfer portal. Losing the handle, Tigers with some shoe-top defense on Leonora Pisana. Other end, Robinson. Appropriately scoring the first bucket of the season. And getting the first rebound. <laughs> so there you go. She's a stat stuffer already. <laughs> Rice 11 points a game a year ago. They lost their top scorer. Paige Powell moving on. She averaged better than 12 points and led them in rebounding as well with seven. Paisana, Nadal of Portugal with the ball. Shot clock at 10. Crossing over on Michaela Elmore. And the foul on the Tiger Jr. out of Fostoria, Ohio. I believe that's the second foul on Elmore. So two team fouls in the opening quarter and both on a 6-3 player that'll be counted on inside and she'll head to the bench. Maddie Ott will check in for you. Saw the contact. Yep, through the body out. Got to move those feet. Of course, two free throws once you get to five fouls in a quarter in the women's game. Working down low. And defended well. Maddie Pluse coming away with it for Clemson on the miss by Renalta Mark. You see the Tigers starting five. Harris, a newcomer, along with Pluse, one of two Miami of Ohio transfers. Rouch played at Michigan for four years. That's her with the ball. Then just came to Clemson as a grad student last year. Decided not to play, but she got the itch midway through a season ago. And yeah, you, you hear the uh, coaches use that old adage, coach on the floor. She really is a coach on the floor. Absolutely. Cluse on the drive. Counted, she'll go to the line. Maddie Cluse, native of Sagamore Hills, Ohio, with the bucket. She averaged nearly 15 a game in the MAC a year ago with Miami. They're really excited about her. She can play both the three and the four uh, for Clemson. 72% on free throws for the Red Hawks last season. Just a junior. And according to Coach Daniel Barber, she's the best defender on the team. She'll draw the toughest assignment. 41 steals a year ago, and get the impression she's going to be able to help with the scoring load as well. And here Look comes out, one right here. over our way. This is us. <laughs> and uh, by gosh, you almost sprung into action right there, my man, as we look at Winthrop's starting lineup. Mark, we saw her work inside. Rice, the player they'll count on. Pisana is one who could bring the scoring up this year. Shoots the threes very well. Good three-point shooter. Blessing Oko, one of their transfers. You saw her on the far right. Post player from North Carolina Central. Drive to the bucket. Working on the wing. Ott. Tigers hoping she can do better than her 29% beyond the arc a year ago. That could be a big help for the offense this year. Eagles trying to get on the board. Not going to go down on the miss by Oko. And here come the Tigers. Scrambling for the ball. Harris. Roush. Inside. Kloos. Cluse already doing some good work. She's got five of the Tigers' seven points. That was great hustle there. Lost the ball, jumped on the floor, and made the pass back to the uh, wing, and then inside the Cluse. Amanda Butler wanting a uh, carrying call. Winter will keep it. Take a look at this. I think Roush is going to be a really effective player as one of those glue players. That's what... Clemson folks have noted. You may not notice stats-wise for her, but four years playing in the Big Ten, a lot of experience at a high level. 
and seemingly is always in the right place at the right time on the defensive end and on the offensive end. Well, during her career, she averages 2.7 assists a game, which is what Clemson needs, really. Rice pulling up, defended well by Ott. And out of bounds to the Eagles. Shot clock at 20 is the inbound. Early on here, first of four matchups against the Big South team for the Clemson women. Another one coming up Friday against Charleston Southern. Not going to go from the wing for Rice. Last touch by Cluse of the Tigers. Claudia Clement inserted in the lineup. A 6-3 performer for the Winthrop team. That's her working on the far side of the lane. Spinning inside, looking to create a shot, but instead kicking it on the wing to Paisana was Mark. Cold start for the Eagles. Kloos had a steam to the bucket. In the corner, Roush. Rainbow wouldn't go, and it comes down to Clement. Eagles get the stop. A year ago, they were solid defensively, held teams to 39% shooting from the field. On the offensive end, team that averaged, though, just... About 52 points a game. Another turnover. Harris underneath Kloos. Seven points to start. A 9-0 run to begin this season for the Clemson team. Good job by Harris pushing the ball down the floor. We actually had a 4-0-1 situation there. Rice last season was the unexpected scorer, as her coach says. But this year... She is probably front and center in the scouting report. Pizana, strong drive off balance. Harris, the rebound. Teammate ahead. Kloos tried to lob it to Robinson, who got hung up. Tigers turn it back over. So not necessarily a work of art on either end as a Clemson team, which a season ago gave it up about 17 times a game so far. A handful for each squad, three for Winthrop. And two for Clemson. Education day, so nice turnout here in Little John Coliseum. Part of a men's, women's jumper from the left elbow. Ronaldo Mark, first bucket of the year for the Winthrop Eagles. So they get on the board, went here and on the other side of the timeout. Amari Robinson, over 1,000 points in her career. The returning leading scorer, she and her team up by five. defense last year and Samika Randall was an outstanding defensive player at Tennessee. Of course, Pat Summit, you know, she said offense sells tickets, defense wins champ uh, defense wins games and rebounding wins championships. And she preached defense as does Coach Randall Lay. Pat Summit's tenets included accountability and responsibility. That's what Coach Lay says she's brought to her head coaching career. So I had to ask her how do you think the late grade Pat Summit would uh, would handle today's player, different generation, the one she coached. She said uh, she'd adapt, and, yeah. and she said it with kind of a laugh, but uh, she said one of the things Pat Summit did so well and her legendary career was adapt, and that's what one of her protégés in coaching, Samika randall is trying to do. And again, just her third season taking over a program that needed to be pointed in the right direction. They're picked seventh in the Big South. And they hope they can surprise some folks after winning eight a season ago. Elmore back on the floor with the two quick personal fouls. 6'3 junior was in the starting lineup. Her role likely to increase this year. One of the few holdovers from the wing. That's what she did so well when she played at Lehigh. Mackenzie Kramer, Tigers able to recycle the possession. Valentine. And the rebound coming down to the Eagles, Marissa Gassaway. Other end, unable to find the handle, Clement. And a turnover for Winthrop, so tough going so far. And talking about, uh, or in talking with the coaches about this Clemson team, one of the things they think is going to be a real strength is three-point shooting. It hasn't shown 
uh, to be that so far. But I guarantee you that young lady back there. She, she got it done 40% in her career beyond the arc. Kramer, her first bucket as a Tiger, native of Minnesota, now playing in Clemson, South Carolina, after coming down from Lehigh. Tigers build the lead back out to eight. They open with a 9-0 run. Out high, Mark. Defended by Valentine. Mark off the drive around Ott. Can't get the bounce. Elmore scrapping. Hell ball. Arrow will send it Clemson's way. <laughs> yeah, Michaela Elmore scored over 2,000 points in high school. Let's watch this defensive or the other end offense with right. the three going down. But I think Elmore is someone who you may see the scoring increase or at least opportunities as Harris will have a seat. I agree. Uh, Michaela can stretch at the defense by stepping out to the three there, but uh, she wants to play on the perimeter. Coach wants her to get inside. Right there's your perimeter player. <laughs> Tigers will welcome the three-point shooting just 31% as a team a year ago, so they're hoping Kramer can be that kind of player for them. Right. And Nia Valentine as well. She's an out supposed to be an outstanding three-point shooter. Luce off to a good start in her Clemson career scoring. Seven points so far. Roush out high. Roush, again, kind of a additional point guard out there, right. even though she maybe not will be looked at as a, a great ball handler. Elmore hung up defensively by Paisano. Shot clock at two. Now Kramer, and it'll be a violation. First of the game for the Clemson team. Yep. Got too many players standing around. Somebody needs to be flashing to the basketball, making themselves available, I used to call it. Get those hands up, be ready to receive. So Michaela Elmore, they were able to play her in that stretch with the two fouls, and she holds on that number. Under three to play in the opening quarter of the season. Your team with some anticipation for good things this year. Lob underneath, Ott doing a nice job on the deflection. Abby Ott had 11 steals last year. Kramer front court, Roush corner will try again. Can't get it to go down. A couple of misses on three attempts from that spot on the floor. Other way, Mark strong drive. Out of bounds, and the Tigers get it back. Very excited about the experience on the roster, as we've noted. She says probably in, in her many years as a coach, either as a head coach or an assistant, Amanda Butler noting that it, it's got to be the most experienced team she's ever had in terms of collegiate games played. And that's reflected in the fact that you've got a massive number of total points. Nearly 7,000 points have been scored in college on this roster. Amari Robinson has a good chunk of those with well over 1,000. And she's got ahead of the line. You know, uh, Renthrop goes to the zone defense, and uh, I'm, I'm glad to see Clemson doesn't settle for the three-point shot. They got it inside to Amari right there, and she drew the foul and gets to the free throw line. But so many times, I call it the three-point poison. You know, you just stand around on the three line. Nobody's, no player movement, nobody cutting through the zone, nobody moving the zone. The basketball's not moving. Uh, you can't win basketball games like that. Robinson led the Clemson team at 81% from the line a year ago. What a fabulous career out of Douglasville, Georgia. Dad was a player at Notre Dame. And her mother was a and Hall Mom of Famer. was also a fabulous player. Yeah, yeah. I was trying, frankly, to remember the Big East school her mom played at. I didn't want Providence. to say the wrong school, but the Providence Friars. And what a great career she had. So parents played hoops, and usually that works out well for the child. Looks like the Tigers have gone zone here on this possession. Now I take that back. Now yep, I see a chaser. A man. Yep. So what a man to man. Rice so far relatively quiet on the day, and a travel will be called. Turnover by the Eagles. Nia Stallings just into the contest.
Eagles have given up six times so far. Robinson nearly had it taken away by Clement. Back to man-to-man -man for Winthrop. There's a good cut by McKenzie. Oh, really nice job spinning around. Burgess coming away with it. Clue shot clock under 10. And a reach-in foul be called. Claudia Clement, native of Spain on this Winthrop team. First on the freshman for the Eagles. Three team fouls opening quarter. Roush on the inbound. Gets it back on the wing. Again, she had come down to be a grad student, determined her college playing days were done after a career at Michigan, but got the itch, and here she is. Robinson can't finish inside. Last touch by the Eagles. Nice move by Amari Robinson right there. Just got to finish that one higher on the backboard. Robinson team leader in points, nearly 14 last year. Rebounds better than six. We told you about the free throw shooting. 81% a year ago, and Amari Robinson was second on the team with 20 blocks. She has it out high. Under a minute to play in the opening quarter. Going past Burgess. And she'll go to the line and shoot two. This is uh, an aggressive Winthrop team. They are in there being physical, even though they're small in stature. Uh, they're, they're bouncing around pretty good in there. With a much different looking roster, they forced nearly 18 turnovers a game a season ago. They knew Clemson gave it up 17 times, so I'm right. sure that the thought process for Samika randall Lay was try to be scrappy, and then that's how she wants her teams to play. Anyway, I would I would expect nothing less from a disciple of Pat Summit in terms of defensive philosophy. No question. Tigers build on their largest lead of the game. Couple of free throws for Robinson. Give her half a dozen. Cluse leads the way with seven points. 12-point advantage, 50 seconds to go here in quarter number one. Clemson trying to improve to 15-1 and one all time against Winthrop. First meeting, though, between these programs since all the way back in 2008. Of course, Winthrop located in Rock Hill, so it's only about a two-hour drive or so from campus to campus. Rice trying to milk some clock, it looks like. Ended out high by Harris. Now Robinson, shot clock at five. Rice, first bucket of the game for a player averaged 11, a contest a season ago. Shot clock is off. A little defensive mix up there by Clemson allowed her to get completely free. Under 10 to go. Out high, Harris. Under five to go, one second remaining. And that's how we come to an end in quarter number one. Tigers trying to get off on the right foot. They were just shy of 1,000 point scores on its roster. Currently Mississippi State leading the way, but how do you like that? Robinson, the returnee, and the newcomers coming in and bring a lot of points with them. And we noted nearly 7,000 points scored in college on the Tigers active roster. Several of the newcomers bringing that to the table. First attempt of the game that goes down for Paisana as she's able to drain the tray. That's going to be a big part of the story. Now one for three beyond the arc. And Eagles Winthrop cut it to seven. Man to man defense. Clues off to a good start in her Clemson career. Seven gets the bounce. Give her nine. Andy Clouse, that's what she did at Miami of Ohio for the Red Hawks in the match. She averaged 15 a game a season ago, had a 30-point contest against Vermont, and had just the second triple-double in the history of that MAC program. Backdoor cutting, pretty fine, and a nice finish by Ronalfa Mark. So a better start to quarter number two scoring-wise for the Eagles. That was quarter number one. They went nearly five minutes without their first points. That was a great job of the screen away from the ball. Came off that screen hard with the basket cut there and finished. Oko with the rebound for the Eagles. They get the stop. Trying to get as close as they've been in a while. Pass inside, knocked away by Robinson. So Paisana open from the wing. Eagles just 28% beyond the arc as a team last season. So obviously an area they hope she can help grow. She averaged about six points a game for them a season ago. Not going to go down from long range for Rice. Roush quickly ahead. Dangerous pass. Harris. Robinson couldn't find the handle. 
70% of Pisano's uh, shots last year were all from beyond the arc. Dumped inside, strong move, gas away. And on the rebound attempt, knocked out of bounds by Maddie Kluth. Really liked the game that the junior who's originally from the Buckeye State brings. Very active on inside. both ends, Pete. She really is on the boards and scoring inside. There's a strong move to the bucket, taken away by Harris on the drive by Oko. Kluth. Not that time. Roush poked in the eye as she battled for the rebound with Pisano. And now they'll set it up. Rice trying to split defenders. Pisano, native of Portugal. So they've got a native of Portugal, native of Spain on their team with Clement. Oh, a nice feed inside. Knocked away, though. Matty off the good defense. Gassaway didn't have a chance for a shot. And now Pisano with the foul. Her first. Tigers doing a nice job on the defensive end. They really are. That was a great play right there. Uh, blocking by Mattiot. Dropping back. It really has a help side defender. Got to get the three-point shooting going on both ends. Uh, of course, it's early in the year, but you know. Tigers with the ball one of eight. Eagles one of seven. Harris tries to get the lid off. Now both teams one of eight beyond the arc. Touched last by the Eagles. Prunell Mungo, junior who came to them from Oakland University in Michigan, originally from Philadelphia, just into the contest. Ott inside the arc. No more for a three-point shooting attempts. Harris battling for the rebound. Good save by the Eagles. And off the mark. Seven-point game once more with Winthrop in possession. I think they like the size of Elmore defending Rice out high as the ball is thrown away and the Eagles turn it over again. Yeah, Clemson switched that time. Uh, Winthrop had big on Little and uh, couldn't get the ball to her. Burgess checking back in. Paisano will get a breather. Elmore, two quick fouls, but she stays out there. Very athletic player for the Tigers from Fostoria, Ohio. Harris, the pit transfer, an Ohioan from Youngstown. Battle inside, loose ball, and again, empty possession for Clemson. Tigers led 16 to six after a quarter. Cross the lane, Rice forcing it. Battle for the rebound, and eventually Elmore runs it down as Mungo couldn't hang on. Harris, burst of speed. Clouse unable to follow, but she'll head to the line. So again, free throws upcoming for Maddie Clouse. One for one so far today. Four for six from the field. Kramer back in. First team all Patriot League player as Roush will get a breather. Clemson's aggressive going to the basket, but they can't finish the the shot on the dribble drive. Clues trying to become the first player in the game to reach double figures in scoring. 72% from the line a year ago, and now two for three today. So in 27 of her past 32 games, she has been in double figures in scoring. Gives you an idea as to how prolific she can be with the ball. I'm really impressed with her ag aggressiveness and her, her active hands. We just got it back to Rice. Eagles so far in the game with nine turnovers in roughly a quarter and a half and make it 10 on the travel. Bumpy start for Oko. She gives it up in an eight-point game. Great job at Day Harris there, dropping level with the ball there and helping the defender on the dribble drive. Almost came up with a clean steal, but uh, created the walking turnover. 38 steals a year ago for Pitt for Day Harris. Clement, 6'3", junior back on the court. She's going to get a lot of minutes today. They need her size in this kind of game. They do. Facing a Power 5 conference team. First of two back-to-back -to, -back to start the year. They go to Alabama. 
on Friday they'll play in Tuscaloosa. Coach uh, Randall Lay switching defenses, going from man to man to the, to the zone. Top to bottom for Clemson that time. Robinson on a pretty feed. Hollow, yes, sir. Mari Robinson, eight points in the game. Tigers back in front by double figures. Rebound on the floor. Kramer looking to push the pace. Harris. Unforced error there. Tried to head to the basket. Off her foot it goes out of bounds. The Tigers giving it up. That'll be a six turnover so far. Catch the ball with two hands. Don't try to slap it down on the dribble. Catch the ball with two hands and put it down away from the defender. Eagles trying to hang around in this game. Clemson jumped out to a 9-0 start. Winthrop both for its last four. And they've gone three and a half minutes without points. Burgess trapped out high. Rice looks for Elaine. Hitting the deck was Valentine. Fresh shot clock for the Eagles off the Rice miss. Jada Rice, ETSU transfer. Can't get that one to go, but an offensive rebound. Good scrappy play by Gassaway. Mark hung up. Gassaway inside. Quick movement. Close again. Very active on the boards. A lot of activity. Nothing to show for it. On the other end, Robinson defended well. Really nice job by Gassaway at 5'11", the junior from Louisville. Fiscal, good body up. Walled up really well. Eagles 0 for their last eight after that flurry of misses. Rice on the size of Elmore using the window. Got the big girl, McKenzie, I mean, uh, Michaela Elmore on the switch and just uh, stepped out there and made that little nice little left-hand baby hook. Nice, nice work. Rice from McDonough, Georgia has four points in the game. Just two of nine so far. Now Elmore, it'll be a half game around. Told you she had a triple-double last year at Miami of Ohio. 11 double-doubles on the season, and pretty good chance she's going to get six more rebounds before today is Yeah, done. I agree. Valentine, Tiger transfer from the junior college ranks, stepping out of bounds. Great job by uh, Coach Samika Randall Lake coming out of that timeout. I love it when you trap that baseline. Inbounds pass and create a turnover. By the way, Clues, one of two Miami of Ohio transfers on this squad. Amani Freeman, the other. We're told we'll see her as the day progresses. And Ruby Whitehorn, returning from last year. And we understand we'll see her as time goes on as well today. Eagles trying to do something offensively. They are in a drought. Just one of their last ten off that miss by Naya Stallings. Robinson. Eight points to go along with Clues' 10. Roush getting hung up on the baseline. Now out front, Kramer. Robinson banging for the rebound, but a strong pull by Gassaway. That was strong. I thought Amari had a put back there, and she just took it away from her. Paisana kicks in the corner. Stallings. Now it's Gassaway. There's Clues again jumping in there with a help defense. Yeah, 41 steals, by the way, last year for Clues. Paisana, shot clock at five. Spins around Valentine. Nice move, couldn't finish. Gassaway scrapping for the rebound. And guess who? Yeah, Arrow will keep it in the Eagles' end, but Clues almost took it away again for Clemson. As you may hear the tones of a high pitch in the background. Good number of elementary, middle school, and I think it's elementary and middle school on Education Day, but they are making some noise, bringing some atmosphere on this Education Day. Stallings from outside. Not happening. Clement the rebound. And she knocks it down. Good job on the offensive glass to get Winthrop points. Eagles team that's just one of 11 beyond the arc. And just like that, Winthrop back within six. Roush on the wing, McKenzie. Now Roush. Robinson. Clues. Can't get it to go, so Clues now four of seven. On threes last season, she was a 32% shooter. Eagles can get as close as they've been 
in a long, long time. Stallings. Clement right down the lane. Made that look easy. Caught Kramer out of position. And back within four. Eagles out of the Big South. And they've created this run with their defense, creating turnovers and making shots difficult. That one's easy. What a great find. Give the assist to Cluse. Yeah. Her first of her Clemson career. Robinson now with a 10-point game. Start of season number 18 as a head coach and number six guiding the Tigers for Amanda Butler. Her Clemson squad 19 and 16 a year ago. In her career, 821 seasons, one of them with the Tigers. At five at Florida, two at Charlotte. Tigers with some pressure in the backcourt. Led by 10 after a quarter, and it'll be a 10-second violation. Boy, you could see Paisana screaming for the ball from Gassaway. So another turnover by the Eagles. That's 11 in this opening half of play. And actually, the head coach on the floor, Danielle Roush, actually helped the officials make that call. <laughs> Bringing it to their attention. Harris, new point guard for this team, out on the wing. Now we got cutters coming to the ball. Keep moving. Robinson, and a foul be called. If it's on Clement, it'll be her second. And that is the case. Michaela Elmore for the Tigers picked up two quick ones in the opening quarter of play. She's been back on the court and is about to check back in. 6-3 player, and now a 6-3 player for Winthrop with two fouls, but Clement will stay out there. Let's see if they trap this inbound pass again. Clement, the first eagle with multiple fouls, as Otto get a breather. Rice checking back in after a quick rest. Armani Reed heads the bench for the Eagles. Kramer, quick kick. Harris, quick move. And looked inside, but was wide of Robinson. Robinson could have stepped in there maybe and uh, created a better passing lane, but uh, the passing lane wasn't there. That pass should not have been thrown. She was a little out of control. Eight turnovers for the Tigers, and as we go along today, I'd like you to kind of connect some dots on the fact that you've got so many players playing in a, in a game that, that matters for the first time. And Harris, a great example of with Robinson. I would think two or three games from now, they'll be able to read each other's eyes better. That you are so right, Pete. Rice and the Eagles got within four moments to go after trailing by a dozen in the opening quarter. Strong move and using the glass for an alpha mark. She's made a couple of really nice moves taking to the basket. Mark has six in the game. Kramer and the Tigers. Harris on the wing. Kramer. Roush from the left side. And last touch by the Eagles. Rice. So Roush, a player who was a good three-point shooter in her days with the Wolverines. Again, she's trying to get back into the game flow after a year away from active duty. Clues back on the floor after a brief rest. And Kramer will head of the bench. So again, with Danielle Roush, you've got to feel like it'll take some time for her to get back into game shape in a lot of ways. Elmore from the outside. Halfway down. Tough start beyond the arc. Look at Clouse saving the possession. Shot clock is off. Final seconds of the half. Robinson battles inside and gets the bucket. Give her a dozen in the first half, and that's how we arrive at the intermission. As the Tigers build Whitehorn here in the second half, and Amani Freeman, the other transfer from Miami of Ohio, came down with Maddie Cluse. And here we go, third quarter. The Tiger team that is trying to be solid in the second half this year. They had some very good second halves on their way to that 19-win campaign last season. Cluse. Elmore, quick pass. Robinson. Now that's basketball right there. Great job on the high, uh, split to post action to start there at the half, split to post, and then great passing and great job by Amari Robinson of shaping up, moving her girl up the lane and creating lane, uh, room for that pass. 14 points for Robinson on the drive. Gassaway foul. 
Watch Amari move, create the passing lane there, and a great pass by Michaela Elmore away from the defender. I think one of those players that really makes the jump this year, you already know what you have in Robinson. I think Elmore could be that wild card for this team. For all the new talent coming in and great contributions will be made by them, as we've already seen by Cruz. But Elmore, 6'3", and again, it's not like she was just an okay high school player. 2,000 points in high school. That's out of story, Ohio. If you can score at that level, you can obviously, and, and you're good enough to be recruited to an ACC school, at some point you're going to do better than the two and a half you scored a game last year. Exactly. Plus all the other aspects, the passing, the defense at 6-3. Whitehorn touching the ball for the first time in her sophomore season and turning it over. Tigers now with nine of the game. Eagles will try to be patient. They averaged just over 50 points a game last year, but they held teams under 60. Good drive down the lane by Mark, adding to her effort. Eight points in the contest, and once again, Tigers lead reduced to four, and now Winthrop got as close as they've been since the first few seconds of the contest. Mark, quick pass. Gas away. Can't finish. Roush comes away with it. Two straight turnovers by the Tigers. Roush, the Michigan transfer, gets a screen from Whitehorn, who's from Detroit. So perhaps Whitehorn saw Roush play in person a few times growing up. Can't get it to go down again that time from out front. Roush still looking for her first points as a Clemson player. 0 for 4 from the field. Made the right read there. The, the girls, uh, both of them went with the roll girl coming off the screen. She was wide open. You got to take that shot. Loose defending Rice. Now they switch Robinson. Rice steps through. Cluse deflecting as her teammate. Roush will get it to Robinson, who finds Whitehorn ahead. And the first bucket of season number two for Ruby Whitehorn. Highest recruit in Clemson program history on the women's side. She averaged nearly 10 a game last season. Great job, pitch ahead. That perfect pass by Amari Robinson. Winthrop taking their time. Paisana knocked away. Roush scrapping. And Robinson. So that's what Roush does. A lot of scrappy play out of her. No look for Elmore. Nice job by Robinson. Maybe she'll build on her assist numbers this season. I'm telling you. He might move her to point guard, Pete. That's two great passes in a row. And just like that, after seeing Winthrop get as close as four, back out to an eight-point advantage. Simpson seems to be switching everything. Oko. Contact with Kloos. And the block is called. Wave off the basket. Tigers on the attack the last two possessions. You see a really nice find by Robinson, so... Able to finish there, rather by Cluse, and then inside Robinson and Elmore. So Michaela Elmore, two points in the game. She'll get a breather. She's done a really nice job since getting those two quick fouls. The only two that Clemson had called against him in the first 20 minutes. That's right. There's the matchup zone by Winthrop. Harris played a little job before, but. Not in the Clemson uniform until today. Pit transfer, Robinson down low. Hard foul called. She was surrounded by Oko and by Clement. And I'll give it to the senior from Houston and North Carolina Central transfer. Blessing Oko. Watch Clues right here. What else can she do? She's doing everything for the Tigers. A great job right there positioning as a help side defender drew the foul. Biggest play you can make for your basketball team is take a charge. And again, they list her as a junior, so it's not like she'll be one and done here. Opportunity to really make a name for herself in Clemson women's basketball in multiple seasons. Robinson can't get it to go. 81% a year ago to lead the team, and that's her first miss in five attempts today. Now the 
Douglas County High School. Going to be a teacher already doing student teaching, and she knows what it's all about for an early wake-up and a game that today tipped off at 11 a.m. She's been already in the flow. Probably by the time her this season's done, she's going to feel like she's been in education for several years. She's really been able to <laughs> grow on the academic side of things. And just, I, I would suppose she'll eventually get into coaching, and what a great coach she will be. She is in a... Uh Actually, she's in special education, if I'm not mistaken. She's in a five-year program where yep. she can get her master's degree when she leaves Clemson. So, wow. great student as well as a basketball player. That's now to two on the shot clock. Getting it away just in time was Stallings. No good. And Maddie Clouse got the rebound in traffic. And the foul be called. Going to get a reach in on Rice. I'm, I'm just impressed with the effort she gives. Every possession. Every tick of the clock. Picks up her first personal. So Rice foul number one. Oh, wow, that's just what she can do. Good little Ruby step. Whitehorn. Yeah. That's how you become a McDonald's All-American. Five-star recruit. Again, one of the very best players in the country in her high school class. Top 15. And now a 12-point advantage once more. Paisana able to make the drive on the right side. Leonora Paisana, native of Portugal, a 5'7 junior. Tigers led by six at the break. Down low, strong move. And it won't go down for Amani uh, Freeman. The other Miami of Ohio transfer came down with her Red Hawks teammate, Maddie Clouse. Out of Avon, Indiana, average just over eight points and five boards, and she will be a valuable add to this team. Freeman will go to the line and shoot a couple. 67% last season playing for Miami. And her first points. Big hands, Pete. Look at her hands. Big hands, long arms. Her first point as a Clemson player at the free throw line. One out of two. Robinson battling. And back over to the Eagle. Robinson gets a breather. Ott back on the floor. Loose as well. Loose back out there. Ott and Robinson among the few holdovers from last year's team. Breaking the pressure this time. Tigers in the second quarter forced a backcourt violation. Eagles were within four earlier in this quarter. Rice tries to get him a little bit closer. Harris battling for the rebound with Gassaway. Personally, she just lost her best friend, Tasha Butts, who was her teammate, a great player, and uh, Tasha Butts recently losing her battle with cancer. Tasha was a... Uh... A great player at the University of Tennessee from Milledgeville, Georgia, originally. And I think she and Coach uh, Randall Lay were even uh, uh, roommates at Tennessee. But remembered by the SEC fondly as a player, but she also was a member of the ACC uh, as an assistant coach for Coach Neil Fortner at Georgia Tech for four years. And she just been named the head coach of Georgetown, so we remember Tasha Butts. Uh, very sad uh, news of her recent passing, a best friend of the Winthrop head coach, and obviously our thoughts and prayers with friends and family of the late Tasha Butts as Maddie Ott just scored her first bucket of the season. Tigers lead out to 13, but the answer inside. Gassaway with the bucket for Winthrop. Give her half a dozen so far. Mark has eight to lead the Eagles team, and now a foul on Marissa Gassaway on the other end. Take a look at Maddie Ott. Great cross-court pass there. Maddie can shoot the basketball. Got to get her feet set. And she'd be the first to tell you she's hoping she can up her numbers from a year ago, 29% beyond the arc. And you would suppose with Whitehorn now in a second season will get attention. Robinson, obviously. Cluse looks like she's going to be battling for the team scoring lead. That could help players like Ott on the wing on kickouts. No doubt. No doubt. And... Uh, 
That inside out pass, uh, that was a cross court pass there, but the inside out pass is the best pass that a three point shooter can get. Freeman the rebound off the Harris miss. Harris, the pitch transfer just scored her first point as a Clemson player. On the wing, Harris crossing over on Rice and one. Once again, great ball movement against the zone. The skip pass, and then she blew by that wing player, and the baseline player did not get there in time. And Harris, give her three so far. She's not used to scoring a low number a year ago at Pitt. 16 double-digit games. Yeah. And she averaged just under nine a contest, but Tigers really haven't needed her so far. So four quick points from Harris on that trip down the court, if you will. The Tigers' lead is out to 15, building on their biggest of the game. They were up by six of the break, led by as little as four earlier in the quarter. Whitehorn tried to cross over. Coming away with it, Mark in the corner. Paisana. Tough day shooting from long range for both teams. Eagles now on three-pointers. Just one of 12. Other end, Freeman. Ott from where she made it moments ago. <laughs> couple of threes in the past couple of minutes for Matty Ott. And the lead is 45-27. Amari, uh, once again, has done everything. She's not rebounding like she normally does. But, boy, she did a great job right there of positioning to receive that pass. That was a good baseline cut. And finish, she's... Uh, Almost automatic at the free throw line, so uh, she's off to her consistent start, Pete, and that's the word we use for her, Miss consistency. Here's the, the matchup zone, 1-1-2, one, one, or 1-1-3, one, one, rather. Five of seven from the field for Robinson. Three knocked down by Naya Stallings for the Eagles, just their second made three in 13 attempts. Good play call out of the timeout. They're back within 15. Under three to go here in quarter number three, the season opening game. Inside work, not gonna fall that time. But the foul is called and we'll see Cluse back to the free throw line. Well, that was good basketball right there. Ball reversal and attack the weak side. And once again, Maddie Cluse down in there making herself available, doing a great job of shaping up and catching that basketball, got fouled. So let's, let's make them pay from the free throw line. Loose her first game at Clemson now. Three for four on free throws. Tigers suddenly have a Buckeye State look to their roster <laughs> with Cluse, Harris, Freeman. Well, Freeman's from Indiana, so... And believe me, never confuse the Hoosier State or the Buckeye State. It's almost as bad as confusing Michigan with Ohio. Michaela but, Elmore from Fostoria. And Elmore, I was going to mention her, but an, an upper Midwest flair, if you will. Bad miss by Stallings after she made the three moments ago. Chance to build it back out to an 18-point lead and Kluth right down the lane. Boy, great control on the drive. She's showing out. Good crossover dribble. Went to that left side and laid it in with the left hand. Outstanding. 13 of the contest. Boy, for what we've seen in brief play by Freeman and obviously Kluth going back to the first half. A couple of really good players from one program into this Clemson Tiger team. Roush battling down low for the rebound. Take another look at what Kloos just did. Just blowing right by Marissa Gassaway. Now that was a great screen by her teammate Freeman there at the high post too as well. Coming off that screen with the crossover dribble. 42% from the field a year ago. She sees five out of eight so far. Roush was called for her second personal as she was scrapping for the ball. Paisana giving it away on the wing to Burgess. Knocked away Robinson. Roush, now Robinson. One defender to beat, and she'll head up the line. Armani Reed couldn't get back and set in time. Good take by Amari Robinson right there. 17 in the contest, 20 point lead for the Tigers. <laughs> I do believe that Clues enjoyed celebrating that bucket for a teammate as much as Robinson did. Right. 
five of six on free throws for the Douglasville Georgia native. Lessing Oko back on the floor. North Carolina Central transfer in first, her first year at Winthrop. Good day continues for Robinson. 18 in the contest. Tigers building the lead back out to 21. It's in a 1-2-2 two, two, half court, three-quarter court press here. And a second time today, they force the violation. Of course, the ball has to be caught on the other side right. for the count to stop. So another turnover by Winthrop. They had way too many of those in the opening half. And that'll give them 16. They've been better in half number two at protecting the ball. Lob underneath Robinson. Tried to reverse. Defended well by Gassaway. Now hung up with Oko. Arrow has it. Staying on that end of the court. Not coming back on the floor. Matty Ott heating up here in our second half of play. I had the arrow pointing the wrong way, I believe. And yeah, the officials pointed. I looked across and thought they'd already switched it out, but now it'll be rectified. Winthrop will get it. Under a minute and a half to go in our third quarter. It's a women's men's doubleheader for the Eagles and Tigers today. As the Hudson men with great expectations pick fifth in the ACC. Tip it off at seven tonight on this court against the Winthrop Eagles. Team that's expected to make some noise in the Big South. Pick third under Mark Prosser. You're familiar with his late dad, Skip. Jada Rice defended by Freeman. Reach in by Elmore. Burgess off one foot. No. Deflected out high. Shot clock reset to 20. Another drive inside. And Angel Burgess with the bucket. Her first in the contest. Need to see some movement there. There's a shallow cut. Kenzie Kramer, Lehigh transfer had it. Now Ott back to Kramer. She can stretch a defense. She finds Ott. Can't get a third one to go down from beyond the arc in this third quarter. Here comes Burgess and Winthrop. Under 20 to play. Shot clock turned off. Rice losing the handle. Out of bounds it goes. Clemson with a chance to add on to this 19-point lead with 6.5 remaining. A little bit of pressure there, but Roush created that turnover. Elmore will inbound from the backcourt. Roush going to the bench. As will Cluse. The Tigers. Plenty of time here to build on this lead. Outscoring the Eagles here in the third quarter, having doubled them up 26 to 13 to this point. Harris under five. Rice defends. Harris off a screen from Freeman. And she's going to run out of time. Did not get the shot away before the buzzer. Three-point shooting along with Kramer. And they'll be on the floor at the same time as they are right now. That could really be something for Clemson when you consider what Whitehorn with the ball and Robinson and others can do near the basket. Whitehorn that time a little bit more fastball than the sinker she needed. <laughs> Tried to find her on that skip pass again, but uh, in about the third or fourth row. I guarantee you, Matty Ott's parents are watching. Uh, and a turnover by Winthrop, their 18th. Ahead, Robinson. Another good touch pass. 20-point point Robinson. game. Yeah. Good way to start her season. Back out to a 21-point Clemson advantage. And it's going to go out of bounds. And once again, 
Unforced error by the Eagles, Armani Reed, freshman from Jacksonville. Boy, good work, defense turning into offense. Yep, no doubt. Robinson, seven out of 10 from the field, give off the assist. So good work off the bench. Whitehorn, done some nice scoring so far, didn't play in the opening half, on a drive, went right up over Reed. Protected. Welcome to your sophomore season, Whitehorn, schooling the freshman. Peck protected the ball really, really well, taking the ball up for that shot. Give her six in the game. Biggest lead so far as Clemson's jumped out to the 23-point advantage. Clement can't finish down low. Robinson taking the rebound away from her. Five boards in the game for our Mari Robinson. She'll try from beyond the arc. Had a good look. And Oko comes down with it. Mari can make that shot. Reed looking to get it inside. Good defense by Whitehorn. Led the Tigers with 83 steals a year ago. Is one of the best in the ACC. Here's Harris. Got too far under, but she's fouled. How about Whitehorn? Such strength. That's the way she protects that ball as she goes up. So, Ruby Whitehorn, here's a story that I wasn't aware of. Her mom was a longtime employee of the Parks and Rec uh, system up there in Detroit, was also very much into athletics. She was a basketball official. Her mom would, would referee recreation basketball games with a young infant Ruby in the little baby pack that you carry a baby around. <laughs> really? She'd run up and down the court, so she was destined to be a basketball <laughs> player, wasn't she? Good, no other, no other outcome. I would love to see a picture of that happening. Yeah, I would. You gotta imagine the players and coaches thought, uh, wow, that's, <laughs> how to get a kick out of that. So she has been on a basketball court since essentially before she could walk. Did she have when a passing in her mouth? I would suppose so. <laughs> Foul's going to be called on Ott as Mark drove past her. And I would suppose also, when you think about it, not only a great player, but Ruby Whitehorn should be a, a student of the rule book. Because <laughs> if mom was an official, then you got to think that there's nothing you can put past her. And she may know how to work officials, because maybe mom gave her some insight on that too. From the corner, won't go down for Rice. Tigers have made her the focus of the scouting report, and it's worked. She's just two for 11. Now at midcourt, reach in foul be called on the ETSU transfer for Winthrop. Wholesale substitution. Three personals on Rice. This official has got a thing going with uh, Michaela Elmore about her tucking about, her jersey in. Yes. Every time Michaela yep. comes to the game. Yeah. And I looked down and I saw Clues do the same thing. That's Clues with the ball. She started tucking her jersey in too, so she wouldn't get the uh, similar admonishment. Naya Valentine on the baseline and Freeman trying to work inside and We'll turn it over. Amani Freeman out of Avon, Indiana, one of the two Miami of Ohio transfers. 6-2, so add some size inside to go with 6-3 Elmore. They've got them on the court now at the same time. Rice, double team. They've been dogging her all day long. Paisano, quick look inside. Unable to finish down low, Gassaway. Good idea, though, by Paisana. Other end, Freeman. And a foul be called. That was a good pitch ahead by the, uh, Nia Valentine there to Freeman. The bigs are running the floor really well for Clemson. Second on Paisana. And you saw Freeman never really had a chance to even work into a shot. Right. Two team fouls in this fourth quarter on Winthrop. One so far, the Tigers. Under seven to play. Clemson looking like it's 
It's going to be on its way to a first victory to start the season. And a couple of milestones will be achieved by Amanda Butler today. Valentine. Elmore with the rebound. Here's Roush. And still unable to get one to go down for Daniel Roush, but the offensive rebound by Freeman. Roush rejected. <laughs> Gas away. Shot clock won't reset. Roush. Freeman gets inside the defender. Oko. I think that's where Roush is really going to help the Tigers. She does an excellent job feeding the post. You have to wonder how much the year away and watching and observing and, and watching a coach coach on the bench will help her now as a player kind of coming back into a different role right. than last season. Especially getting used to a new system. Down low, Renalta Mark tries to reverse. Elmore on the glass and Mark picking up the personal. And she played last year as a member of the uh, men's scout team for Clemson. So she was out there every day with the players, uh, but in a different role. She would take yep. on the role of uh, the opponents. But having watched a year of Amari Robinson, how she works inside. Valentine again trying to knock one down. Still looking for her first points as a Clemson player. 0 for 4 from the field. Pull up. Mark. Ronaltha Mark. Give her 10 of the game. First eagle in double figures. Strong move down low, but Kloos unable to finish. Clemson's lead at 24, coming up on five to play. Rice just four in the game. Now give her half a dozen. They moved Kloos from the four to the three out on the wing. She hasn't lost that aggressiveness. She'll take it into the basket. Three new Tigers just touching the ball in that sequence. And a blocking foul will be called against the same old, same old Amari Robinson. 20 points so far. Led the team last year at about 14. Get the impression she's going to average better than that and probably get real close to 2,000 career points if she begins her graduate season. But others helping out and among them, one of the newcomers. Yeah, Robinson and Kloos both uh, have been on the receiving end of fast break points. Clemson leads in fast break points 14 to zero, and they both have been on the receiving end because they run the floor so very well. Very impressed with what we've seen in her first Clemson game for Maddie Kloos. Who's now with 14 in her Clemson debut. She'll get a breather. Robinson likewise. Will enjoy how she started the campaign with that 20-point effort. And scrapping for the loose ball. And another foul will be called against Roush. Two on the Michigan transfer. <laughs> Eagles getting ready to see an SEC team next. Friday they go to Alabama. Tough time getting it in for Burgess, but eventually to Rice. Tigers back home against another Big South team. Charleston Southern on Friday. Rice out high, shot clock under 10. Mark, pull-up jumper. And Ott taking it off the floor. Good job by Mari Robinson contesting that shot there without fouling. Eagles hovering around 30% from the field. The teams have combined to make just five of 35 three-point attempts. Whitehorn. And gets it a roll. Got on the floor for the first time in the third quarter. Sophomore out of Detroit. Closing in on a double-figure game. Clement originally went for the strip, and then Rice came over. And that'll be a fourth on Clement, the freshman post player. Whitehorn, such a smooth touch. 64% of the line last season, but boy, she uses that form all the time. She'll be just fine. Give her nine so far. Tigers on the verge of having three double-figure scorers in this opening game. 
comfortable margin. 26 point advantage. And they've limited the Winthrop team to just 17 points so far in the second half. Outscored them 11 to four in the fourth quarter. Burgess off the glass, no. Elmore with the rebound. Give her seven, that leads Clemson along with Clues, who also has seven. Whitehorn looking to split defenders. Inside fine and a great one for Robinson. Burgess was there defending, thought they might whistle her for a personal. Robinson now with 22 in the game. Narrow window to get that ball through there, but she threaded the needle. Harris defending Rice out high. Mark dogged by Harris. Nearly took it away. Shot clock, plenty of time there. Good look inside Clement, but unable to get it to go is Gassaway. Whitehorn, pull up. Mark on the rebound is foul. Elmore had two quickies. That's the first personal against her in a while. Third in the game. Kind of had a look of semi-astonishment on her face. 2.42 to go. Clemson will improve to 15-1 and all time against the Rock Hill School. And they were 4-0 against Big South teams last year in the first of four meetings against that conference this season. Hot heads the bench. Her day is likely done. Robinson likewise. Burgess defended by Freeman. Harris fighting inside at 5-7. But Rice taking it away. Over shooting Clement. And a timeout on the court. I believe that was Coach Lay of Winthrop who called the timeout. So Amanda Butler doing some coaching with one of her many newcomers, Mackenzie Kramer. Playing a lot of players today, Pete. Yes, she is able to enter the bench. Education day. Those kids wishing right now they had just wrapped up lunch. For, in their case, probably recess. Maybe uh, they've introduced a calculus course after recess on the elementary school level. I haven't checked it. This might be middle school kids. Yeah, it's been a while. You see that <laughs> Ruby Whitehorn starting her sophomore year after averaging just under 10 points a game. Not only a fabulous basketball player, top 15 player in the country as a senior, a five-star, highest-rated recruit in Clemson women's basketball. As a uh, youngster coming up, Dedicated in hoops, but also in boxing. In the hometown of Joe Lewis, I guess that would be the case, a native of Detroit. And eventually she had to make the choice, but she had loved it. And, and we're told that it was hard for her to, to walk away from one and focus on the other. So <laughs> You would think it, it has helped with her athleticism uh, coming up. So... Hey, where did you get this information? It's, it's called uh, Digging Deep. Digging Deep. But I, I still love the, the fact that she was in a little baby pack going up and down the court with her mom officiating rec league games. Was, was it kickboxing or just boxing? I think it was just uh, traditional boxing. But again, if you're from Detroit, you know, Joe Lewis is always connected to that town, the late grade boxing champion. So I think a lot of kids got introduced to boxing. And now she starts her second campaign in a Clemson uniform with a double-figure effort. 11 points in the game on five of six from the field. All coming in the second half. Burgess crossing over. Good defense by Freeman. Nice move. But to no avail, Burgess knocks down the short jumper, her first bucket of the game. On the wing, another try from long range, and it goes for Kramer. 69-38, Mackenzie Kramer, the Lehigh transfer, two of five on threes. 40% in her career, so she's right at that number. They have set that up so beautifully, though, with that dribble penetration. Francis Brown into the game, giving it away. That's Stallings coming up on a minute to go. 
Freeman defending Stallings. Shot clock at three. Knocked away momentarily, and it'll be a violation. Not sure if Reed, the freshman, realized how low the timer was. Debut game for Day Harris, the pit transfer. One of the three 1,000-point scorers on the Clemson roster. Player with the ball right now is just three points shy in her collegiate career, Nia Valentine. Freeman. Now Whitehorn sees the opening, takes advantage of it. 13 points for her. Robinson, her day is done with 22. And Maddie Kloos has 14. It's going to be interesting when Clemson plays Syracuse and you got Kloos going against Cuse. <laughs> Good drive to the bucket by Angel Burgess. 31.9 to go, and she's got a chance to add to her day. Told you 11 new players on the roster for an Eagles team that lost its final five games last season, so no drop a sixth straight contest. And, you know, Clemson won five of their last seven contests last year, including a quarterfinal run in the WNIT. Seventy-one to forty. Valentine brings it across. Not much of a difference game clock to shot clock, and I have a feeling Tiger's just going to dribble this one out. Defense by Stallings. Focused on Valentine. From the wing. Just off the bench. Not going to fall on the shot attempt by Bella Ranallo. And that's going to do it. And the Clemson Tigers will deliver win number 300 in the career of head coach Amanda Butler. And it's her 70th starting out season number six at the helm of the Tigers.